These guys back here at Coop Radio, love. these guys do an awesome job. And these guys come from Washington. Yep. And they come here every Sunday yes, do. and do what they do. So thank you, Wayne, Blood Ranch, Victor. Me and that man go way back. I wish you were saying that. The Who, other half. Who's this Victor guy? I, my my <laughs> partner's Mason know. Stone. Sorry, I had chair I don't timers. Know what's going on there? All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Well, let me have someone come out here when she's on these papers too on voting. So uh, let's get the man out here. Put your drinks up on the weekend Cause them work days sure been creeping What's up? Is anybody gonna get tore up? Here's tonight's up, ring announcer Monday morning, Let's go! I'm getting loose with some folks like me tonight Yeah, so put your girls up high Drinks up for party time tonight we got just a kick-ass crowd here at Night Mason Storm. They put out all these extra chairs, and those ones aren't filling up yet, but look at all these people standing over here. Yeah, they will be. And they keep rolling in. This is great. Yeah, we won't uh, have a show on February the 22nd because we're doing actually a uh, promotion. What's that at? Roosevelt High School? Is it? Yeah, it's called Body Slam for Wrestling. Bo body, body Slams, slams for, for baseball. baseball. Yeah. yeah. It's an annual fundraiser uh, for one of our local wrestlers' uh, son's Little League team. And I unfortunately am uh, going to be watching the Daytona 500 that day. So I won't be there to broadcast that show, but we are going to be uh, having a show here at BCW the night before on the 21st and I believe I haven't got word from my producer totally if for sure that we're going to make it here but we should uh, should be here on the 21st I believe you know it's hard to believe that it's only been two weeks I don't know about you guys but it seems like it's been like months since we were here are you guys ready for some crazy action in here tonight? All right, now remember, remember what I have told you guys. The louder, I don't have to tell you guys that, and the crazier you guys get, I can tell you the crazier it's going to get in here. These guys feed off of you, and if you guys are loud and crazy, they're going to get crazy, and some of them don't need a whole lot of help. All right? They feed, so, it, feed off of a Mason Storm. That's like Ryback. Let's try this. Feed me. Yeah, and I bet I bet they keep the butcher in business. Oh, you guys can do better than that. Come on. Woo! I noticed the butcher isn't here. I think he got hauled in yeah. for selling bad meat. Hey. He's the health department probably coming cracked down on him. He's training in food. secret training right now for and your of little buddy. The birthday oh. Girl. Yes. Make sure everybody goes over and visits Connie. I can tell you right now, she makes a mean drink, all right? And tip her, because this is her birthday. Make sure you tip her really good tonight. Patty's over here, and she has the programs. Go see Patty. Get your program, because at intermission, they're going to do a drawing. And if your program has the number on it that's drawn, you win two free tickets to next week's show. And Bob Hardy isn't here this week, so that's up for grabs. Yeah, that's right. 21st, right? 21st, and we're doing it here on that Saturday? Huh? Okay. So, BCW has been asked to do a show to help a baseball team on February 22nd. That's a Sunday. There will be no show that Sunday. But... Here's a better, here's just something that's even better. You get to come down here on the 21st, which is a Saturday night. All right? Oh, yeah, it gets crazy on Saturday nights around here. It's going to be a 7 o'clock start. All right? 
It's going to be a 7 o'clock start. And I'll tell you what, every time that I've been involved in a Saturday show at BCW, it gets completely crazy. All right? Yeah, woo! I didn't All know right, the I want to see the crazy building. fans <laughs> are. I'm going to start right here. Are you ready? Are you ready? You didn't see his jet fly? Are oh, you ready? Let me see it's parked right out front. Maybe are over at the Twilight you Room. Ready? Styling and profiling? Yes. They're not ready. All right, let's take it all the way around. Are you ready? That's what I'm talking about. That's why I tell everybody, you guys are the greatest fans in North Portland, and you live up to it each and every Sunday night. I know they can hear it on your guys' broadcast. I've watched some of the matches, and you guys are crazy loud, so let's keep that energy up all night. So here we go again. One more time before we bring them out. Are you ready? I love Joy. He's like a, a DX, uh, yes. a DX vintage Triple H right there. Right there. Yes. Are you ready? Who do we got here? Who's our ref? You got the. You got the. Uh, that's uh, his name is Nick Cannon. Or Nick Wayne. I'm sorry, Nick Wayne. The king's in the house. Yeah, Nick Wayne. For uh, our junior referee here. God, I and can't believe I king. butchered that name. The king back. He's missing his crown. I don't know. Did he have a crown last time he was here? I don't know. But I thought a king is supposed to have a crown. He had a sidekick. He had a court gesture. Oh, okay. that was Carl, wasn't it? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember who came with him. Let him hear it might have been. Hear Damn nice cape he's got though. I heard that was custom made in England from some fine sheep. And his opponent. This is your guy right here. Ooh, we got Darby Graves coming out, huh? Once again, he's back at BC. Now it's going to get crazy. Everybody get excited. Here he is, Darby Graves. Here it comes, just kid. See. We apologize if you're watching at home. Our, our lights are on the fritz tonight. We got a bad light, so we can't run them. But all the more you can see Darby Graves come and uh, flip over the tables and go nutso and roll around on the floor all around the ring before he uh, ever gets in the wrestle. He's, he's a crazy guy. Wow. BCW! Pulled a little miniature Ultimate Warrior there. King's already all over the ref wanting him to uh, mellow Darby out. I don't think that's going to happen, though. No, I don't either. There ain't no mellow on Darby Graves out. Should be a great opening match, though. Yeah. A couple of wrestlers that come to us from up north. Trained by uh, the Northwest legend Buddy Wayne. Yes. Runs an excellent training facility. I believe it's in Everett, Washington, isn't it? Yeah, it is Everett, Washington. <laughs> Buddy's been wrestling around here for a long, long time. You get the lock up, and Darby goes right behind the king. Oh, look at this. Oh, nice, nice amateur takedown yeah, right he, there. He ain't letting go. There's a couple of points. Two more. Unfortunately, we ain't scoring points here, Mason Storm. It's all for the pinfall. But it sounded good. It sure did. If you're watching at home, we got our uh, our camera angle shooting from the other side now here. Oh, nice reversal into that hammer lock. Oh, nice. Darby rolls through that and comes up with a wrist lock. Very, very nice. Oh, nice. King reverses it, gives him a little bit of his own medicine. 
Another roll through. Oh man, nice kip up into the reversal. Comes up with that nice wrist lock. All right, Kane's gonna get, try to do the same thing. Oh, oh he couldn't quite make it back. No, looks like he was gonna go for some kind of an arm drag and that didn't happen. Darby wasn't having any of that. Look at him, not only got that wrist lock, but had that knee and that joint. Nice elbow comes up again with that wrist lock. Oh wait, over the top, Darby goes, look at that. Nice snap, Maya, right over into that reverse chin lock. The speed of Darby Graves is incredible. Oh yeah, he's gotta be one of the quickest guys that we have here. Oh yeah. The only one that I think I could probably give him a run is CJ. CJ is pretty quick himself. King goes into that hammer lock there. There's that snap mayor again, right into that reverse chin lock. Almost like the form of a sleeper. He's, yeah, he's almost got it wrapped in there like a sleeper hold. Now he come right out of that to relieve that pressure. Darby shoots him off and he goes oh. for a shoulder tackle but gets one of his own. Oh, he Kingdash. bowed. Oh, nice, nice leap, leap frog. Yeah, right into that hip lock takeover. Oh, King's not having none of no. it though. King's gonna go to that leg. Oh, oh he Darby kicked out just of kicks that. him right off. Oh, nice flying head scissors. Gonna Going get another, another one. one. Another Got flying. Got it off and hooks right into oh, that arm. Oh, man. Derby Graves means business. That was unbelievable little chain wrestling right there. And look at little referee Nick Wayne. He is on the action there. Yeah, he's not playing around. Very close eye on things. And look at his face, it's so stern. Showing him he means business. Oh, big shoulder from Darby. Oh, a little Another leap frog, frog from the king. Oh, he went to monkey flip him and he rolled through it. Nice drop kick. I think he was setting up to catch him with that monkey flip yeah, and he like just it, yeah. rolled right through it. Darby goes right back to that side headlock. Boy, look at that ref, man. He Nick is right in there. Yeah, he don't mess around. King backs Darby into the corner. No clean break. Oh, a headbutt right to the sternum. He's gonna shoot Darby into the corner. Oh. Darby goes over the top and goes right back to that side headlock. It's like the King's thinking, what do I do to shake this guy and mount an offensive? Did you see that? Right. He went to body slam him and he popped out of it right into that headlock. Oh yeah. Oh, nice float over. Oh, oh there's the Pele yep. kick. Man, he about kicked his face off. I just saw a guy do that. They started putting that New Japan Pro Wrestling on yes. uh, TV. And those, some of those guys do some crazy stuff. Oh, start. yes. But I saw one of those Pele kicks in the last show there. I wonder if that, yeah. Ooh, turnbuckle treatment for That might have uh, been Darby a Grace. gentleman by the name of Takahashi. I think it was. I've only watched a couple matches yeah. and it had been a couple of the same guys. Yeah, that it was on. Takahashi. King's going to sling Darby off, but Darby reverses it. Oh, here we go. Gets ahead of steam. Oh, puts him over his shoulder. Oh, I don't think he's seen that coming. No, he didn't. Nice shoulder block. Darby's up off the ropes. Very nice. Nice springboard drop kick off the top rope. That caught the King right in the mush. No, he's man. back up and ready to go. Nice kip up. Right into that sunset flip. Oh, he rolled he through just, it. Yeah, he just rolled him right off. But wait a minute. This might not be good for Darby. Oh, nice bridge. Oh, it looks like he might be good. Oh, he went for that backslide. Wait a minute here. Ducks the punch from the king. He's got him rolled up. Oh, he kicked out. Oh, only a two. That was a close one. King's trying to make his way to his feet. Darby's measuring him up, catches oh, he him. Oh, locked it. Got the Roman knuckle lock. Wait a minute. Springboard. Oh, looked like he went for that hurricanrana, but oh. The King grabbed him, he got him. He got him. I think he might have had a hold of his tights. Yeah, I and think he did. this match.
and the fans are not happy about it. What's he saying? That's some kind of fringy Canadian stuff. I don't know. I hope he's not talking about his wee wee. Wee wee? Yeah, wee wee. Producer, do they? He says the ref's the winner. Oh, the ref got the win? Darby's upset with the uh, outcome here. Well, yeah. I think when he rolled through and got that, it's kind of like a, a victory roll. Uh -huh. And I think he had those tights. Or I, I guess you can, I call them Levi's, I guess. Yeah, he wears, uh, he wears them skinny pants. Oh. You don't think they could be? No, no, he's no relation to skinny jeans. All right. Not victorious, but uh, a hell of a showing from Darby Graves. You know, I was going to always, say something at the start always. of the show, but.